One pin. One pin. Yo, what is up? What is good? What is popping, my people? It's your boy Chid, not Chad, also known as Mr. D's. What it is. Yo, boy. And then now tuning into a day in the life of Chid. So, first of all, I just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive, massive shout out to you guys for coming through and watching the video. Um, backstory to this video. So, I I don't want to call myself a sneakerhead, but I like sneakers. I've liked sneakers since like <laughs> as long as I can remember. Got my first pair of Jordans in like grade eight. So it's safe to say that things have changed since then with regards to the culture, especially in South Africa. Back then, like not a lot of people were onto like Jordans and like that type of kick. Everyone was just on, you know, the usual, the usual. And like things, things have become so bad now. Like people don't even know what they're buying. They're just buying for the sake of selling for resale. So I don't know if you're into sneakers, but like things are hella limited. So if you buy these kicks like you can sell them for double the price like resale value and that's what most people are doing now and it's just taking away from the fact that people enjoy sneakers and people want to wear sneakers so people are just buying for the sake of reselling now i'm not trying to knock anyone's hustle all i'm saying is that it's kind of sad to see that a lot of people who aren't even into sneakers people don't care about sneakers don't even know which pair they're buying um are buying just for purely the sake of resale and it just takes away from like the people who actually care about the sneakers who actually want to wear the sneakers you know so yeah this is our journey into the deep dark world of south african sneaker reselling uh, what the cry are you feeling bro i'm uh, on yourself my man <laughs> um no how are you um, feeling about your craft bro you said you came here early yeah my man i woke up at half past five bro. <laughs> i didn't even drink my tea just to be here for a They're gonna be like, this guy has made it. He's here standing lines for shoes instead of food. Food, right? Yeah. The people in the pocket are gonna say you made it. Ah, they must know. Man. <laughs> sure, they sure. must know. All day, every day. Yeah, how are you feeling? You're gonna have to blow out this mask, bro. But you think you're gonna get lucky today, Chief? Uh, what do you mean I must blow out the mask? No ways, bro. Liverpool won the title, you're going to win the shoe. Yeah, no, no, no. If it will be a, a good weekend, eh? <laughs> Liverpool won on Thursday. I get this on, on, for, on Saturday. Monday is my yeah, birthday. It's birthday, um, Monday. Oh, right, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Everything is just lining up. Huh? Let's see how it goes. Let's yeah. see how it goes. So, um, uh, this man is looking like an anime character. Look sure. at him, man. Oh, my day, Shaq. I don't judge <laughs> you. Man. Don't tell the people what you're in the stand on, bro. I can't remember. Oh, my day. <laughs> Vlog, so I'm, not sure. I'm, feeling, yeah. I'm feeling good. What size the game for you? Seven. I can't go for that. Thank you for that. So as before, they handed out the sneakers. I got, a f I interviewed a few of my friends, a few people I knew, and I wanted to know how they were feeling about things. And this is how the drop actually went. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost everything. You can't me. It's a moment of peace for our boy, Pharrell Williams. Yeah! <laughs> it was in that moment he knew he messed up. But I love you, bro. One day only comes. Hey, 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 Okay, bro. But they gave two lines now. 
Yeah. One pair of size eight, bro. Yeah, they no, one pair of size They don't have a size one pair. Charlie, 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 give you us know us what, ne? Since we didn't get one pair, ne? We still want it. It's pay. fine. You We're going to have it. They know. Uh, this is like Charlie, you know, they got the dog, they got the dog. Shout out to them, man. They got the dog. Right. I feel you, I feel you. Number two! Hey! hey. I just, I, 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 just, I, I got a, a win last week, so I'm not. <laughs> Come to the rose. Got girls in my old folk. I should go out and go. I've been at the store too long. The shoe that I would buy is going on with a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see people were very very disappointed uh, with the result of the raffle sadly only like one pair was released for like size 8 one for size 7 a few for all the other sizes so like we literally stood there in the line for like an hour or whatever two hours for like one pair the chance to buy one pair which is kind of sad but I get like the, there was a thing with the online system whatever whatever but this doesn't take away from the fact that like the South African sneaker scene is like a mess, mess, mess. So, yeah, man, it's just in a sad state. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, just let me know down in the comments how you feel about the state of the South African sneaker market. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the vlog. This is just us chilling, you know, clowning around, getting some coffee or whatever. After we took some pet, pet else. But yeah, um, my friends now call me Alvin because I've been cashing else. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a <laughs> drop a comment. Damn, this YouTube stuff is hard, bro. I swear. But yeah, um, shout out for the love. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. Um, or chocolate. <laughs> I'm not a wet fancy you stuff, bro. Huh? You have to soothe the soul after yeah. that album. Yeah. And in this video, Pharrell shows us how not to wear a mask. Remember, be safe, stay home, and wear your mask over your nose. Thank you. Ah, believe me, my man. Show them the man. caramel. Huh? Show them how the caramel. Show them how the caramel. Thank you. <laughs> have this thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.